All right, so welcome. We're going to do a dissection. We're using a rat this year. The various classes will use um, different mammals. Uh, we've done pigs as well. This year, you guys are going to do rats. So let me just kind of break down. Just a reminder, we're, why do we study rats? Why do we study well, we're all vertebrates. We're all mammals. We have mammary glands. The young are, are fed to the young are fed by by the female through the mammary gland. We have hair, we have skin, and that's some, some unique characteristics about mammals. Okay. Um, I've also done um, frogs. We, why frogs? Because they're also vertebrates, even though they're not mammals. Quick breakdown of what we see here. Um, and again, this is just taxonomy. We learned this at, throughout the year about kingdom phylum on down the line. I'm going to jump ahead to the equipment. So. Um, every year I do this, I always like to show where everything is. So in this basic room, I've got five sinks. All right? No, four. I've got four in this sink. Two over there, two on the side, and my fifth one is over there. I do have five. Now, that, if you look back there, you're going to see a gray bucket. I'm going to mention the gray bucket later. All right? The gray bucket is for cleaning your utensils. So this is the general idea. That's, so, okay. Let's look at our tools. I want to focus on using the right tool. So when I, during this example, imagine my lab coat being the fur. That's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the fur skin and all that stuff. All right? Let's talk about the tools of the trade for a dissection. So first, what observation can you make about this lab setup? You could also get the screen. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you know about them? What, what direction are they all in? up towards the screen or in the same direction. The whole purpose is to have a s nice, safe environment with tools that can do damage. Now, why that? Look at this scalpel right here. This, I'm telling you some of these things because they've happened. So here's the, here's the um, scissors, and someone s leaves it right there. They go to grab their scissors, and boom, they've just cut themselves. Or they potentially cut themselves. So I'm, I'm a real stickler for this. My lab assistants will be saying, hey, wipe your utensils down. Wipe your utensils down. Like the scalpel. Wipe your utensil down. All right, not this side because you're doing this. Oh well, it's red because you just cut yourself. All right, so we want to avoid that. Yes, it's a sharp tool. Use the proper tool. So let's get the um, scalpel out of the way first. Here. When you're doing the dissection, and I did this earlier. Now, from where you are, you might not be able to see that, but if I were to take my blunt probe move it around, and you kind of do that when you do this. So like you make a cut and you use your probe to move things around. Look at the, that's just one straight line cut. All right, now imagine that doing that to tissue or accidentally your finger. So you do need to be careful. One of the things I want to point out is with, with the tray, you want to go in straight line cuts when you're using the scalpel. If you're sawing, that means you need to stop and use a different tool, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So let's see. So when you're dissecting, yes, that is who you think it is. All right, one of the things that students forget is you can move your tray around, all right? So if you're on this side and it's your time to cut, you don't, you know, well, say, say it's on, you're on this side, it's your time to cut. You don't, you can turn the tray around. It's very subtle, but I like pointing that out because you're always going towards yourself with the scalpel. Does that make sense? Because yeah. this is what happens. You're sitting there like that. Um, gets cut in a little tissue, apply a little pressure, and the person across you gets a scalpel in the forehead. We would like to avoid that. Right? <laughs> I'm telling you because it could happen. It's never actually happened in my class. No. All right. So that's one of the things I want you to be prepared for with that. Let's get this out of the way. So back to some of the other tools. And this is one of the things when I film, I want you to film me doing it over here. Right? All right, so, um, well, you could have stayed over there, but, okay, so here's, here's two things. I don't see it in here, but this is probably your utility piece, your blunt probe. Your blunt probe, you're going to be using to, say, stick under the skin. So imagine my lab coat is the skin or the fur, and underneath is the material that we're trying to get to. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to expose the muscles, and I'll show you some pictures about that in a second. And then... We're going to get deeper, get to the abdominal and the thoracic cavity. So 
for your lifting and cutting. So a lot of times I'll show you, and I'll demonstrate this. I'll grab someone's pig and I'll put it in her pig, rat. Someone's rat, put it on there and move it underneath the tissue. See it moving around. That's teasing apart those tissues. Now, I mentioned the scalpel is not used. If you're sawing, stop. It's for straight line cuts. Scissors and this. So let's talk about this and the scissors. And by the way, these are forceps, not tweezers. Uh, these are used for grasping. And one tool that's not on here is your phalanges, your fingers. You, a lot of times you're going to find yourself grasping. It's not a tool, but it is a tool. <laughs> it's not a, in here, but you're going to use it. So teasing. This is used for teasing. So imagine this being the skin. And again, I'm pulling this back. So underneath, this would be muscle. And teasing, instead of using your scalpel and sawing it, there's connective tissue that attaches the skin, what's called the integumentary system, to the muscular system. So underneath is a little bit of muscle and fat, and you basically tease it. Tease, that's what teasing, not saying, oh, silly little rat. That's not the type of teasing we're talking about. It's teasing apart the tissue. And you use this to do it. You also can use your blunt probe to move things around, and you break that connective tissue. We're not trying to save the patient. And if we were, we wouldn't be ripping that skin off, but we are. Does that make sense what we're doing? Okay, I mentioned the bucket back there. So cleanup is really easy. Wipe as you go. And then you take your scalpel, you wipe off everything, dip and shake. Dip, shake, dry. Then grab like four more, or five more of these. Dip, shake, dry. So you don't drop it in the bottom of that bucket and say, um, this ran like things done there to be good. Because then it's just going to wait till I dump it. So dip, shake, rinse. All right, dip, shake, and then dry it off. And you don't have to do a dance when you're doing it. That's just my thing. All right, so we're getting close to being started. And any questions about the tools? One last thing about the scissors. You'll hear me say scissor cut. So let's say this is the muscles here. And this flap right here. So you don't saw with a scalpel. Scissor cut, scissor cut, and then one big one. And this whole piece gets removed. And that's what our small tray is. This will be covered with paper towels. We'll actually pass these out later before you get... You'll start with the rats and we'll bring these around. So anything that we're going to discard, we'll go in the discard thing. So the things that we have are our dissecting kit which you need to have a official kit manager. That's the person who makes sure it's always in the same place and wiping and drying it. And you're going to go by numbers. If you look at my screen, this is number nine. So you guys are group one. You use kit one. You're group two. Yes. Yes, two. Four, uh, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we clear? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Go get, if you don't have one of these trays, I think Connor gave them to you. And our go get a dissecting kit and we'll get gloved up and then we'll start. So ready to dissect.